Hey everyone, I wanted to make this kind of video as a bridge into the new year. I mainly wanted to make it for progress purposes just to see how I progress in a year's time on RuneScape, so I'll be showing you guys my bank, my house, and the requirements I have left for the trim completionist cape, and on December 31st of 2013, I will make an identical video to this one to show how I progress in a year's time. So I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll be showing you guys just an overall view of everything and I'll go into specifics about a few things, but I don't want to make this a dragged out bank video, so without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, I have nothing in my Grand Exchange and I have these four items in my inventory because I need them and I don't want to drop them, but they don't belong in my bank, so I'm just keeping them in my inventory so there's nothing in my GE right there. There's the four items right there, and let's get into the bank right now. Now here is my first tab, which is mainly currency and tools. Ever since the money pouch came out and the tool belt came out, I really don't need these things. I just keep them there for no reason. My money's in my money pouch and I have one of each tool in my tool belt. But I have Tokel here, I have Castle Wars tickets here, I have Elite collection of tools. I want to get Elite Orb of Oculuses, but that would take a long time. I have my Festive Aura from the Winter Weekends, which runs out today. And I have my Professional Tackle Box, which I'm going for the Champion one from Fish Flingers for the trim requirement. But that's pretty much it for that tab. Then we move on to the runes tab. We've got all of my runes for teleporting and whatnot. I mainly use my runes for farm runs. I don't really use it for anything else. I've got all my pouches for rune crafting, which never happens. I have a scepter of the gods, which I got from Pyramid Plunder. I'm so happy I finally got this. It took forever, about 9 mil thieving XP, but I finally got it. I got rid of all my other scepters because this one has 10 charges. So that's really cool. I've got my other staffs that I really don't care about much. I've got a necromancer steam staff, so that's got the necromancer skull on it. So... That's cool. And then I've got some other teleports over here with some ecto tokens and whatnot. So moving on, we've got the herb lore slash potions slash farming slash, I guess, food tab. And we've got all of my potions. I've got leap, pestle, and mortars right there. And it's just potions that I use on a daily basis or for bossing and whatnot. I've got juju, mining potions, hunter, and farming right there. I've got flesh that I've saved up from mining. And I've got my rock tails for bossing and my magic logs for bonfiring. And then I've got my seeds, salmon, and yugun, and urzeal from herb lore habitat. I've got spirit seeds for my kingdom. I've got these toad flax seeds, which I bought at ridiculously cheap and just I'm making an awesome profit on. These are my vines that I got from Hunter. And then I've got some things from Quest, like the magic watering can, the magic secretary is my green fingers aura for farm runs. And then we've got potions that I use for bossing as well, just some flasks that I have left over and some stuff that I have to work on making. So that's pretty much it for that. I could probably get rid of this whole row, but whatever. Moving on, we've got my summoning tab. It's pretty small now. I used all of my crimson charms and my blue charms for the bonus XP weekend. I got, I think, 20 mil summoning during that weekend, so I was happy about that. And I'm supposed to have lead of these. I don't know why. I have 100 extra right there, so let's take those out. Got lead spirit shards right there. I've got the pouches that I use all the time. I use this for the Wildy and for the Lava Maze Penguin. And I use this to recharge my Dragonstone and stuff like glories. I use this for bossing, bossing, and bossing. And then we've got the scrolls for the three bossing familiars. And we've got Dread Nips. I'm running a little low on those, but whatever, I'll work on that too. Maybe in 2013, I'll have a lot more of those. Moving on is my necklaces and rings tab, kind of my crafting tab. I've got just rings to get places, necklaces to get places. I've got these light orbs that I've had forever in my bank because I got 99 crafting with this. I've got my ectoplasmator, my bone crusher, my anti-poison totem, my herbicide, and my ectophile, all just for Slayer, and this is obviously for getting around. And then I've got my squeal pendants, of course, so nothing really special in this tab either, just mainly stuff to get around. Then we've got my kind of skilling slash looking tab, and for looking I mean like to wear, my clothes, my whatever. I've got full Wicked right here, I've got my swag scientist outfit, now I mentioned the swag scientist word in the thrift shop parody I did for the weekly room bars and it's just an outfit me and my friend made up and we called it the swag scientist and that's why I used it in there because we've said that word for about a year now and I really wanted to just use it in a wrap so I threw it in there and this is the outfit it's the gnome goggles the desert top the pirate leggings and the cosmic boots then I've got my 4k choppy bird kill hat which is pretty cool I have a few of those double eye patches I've got all of my task set armor right there. I've got my enchanted water tiara, my full penance gear. I'm missing two of the helms. I'll get them later, but I have five in all the rolls in barbarian assault. I've got my agile armor, my cooking gauntlets, all of my grigris, plus the blue face one, which I was happy to have. And I've got my adds, d hatchet, d pick, and my penance master horn and ring of visibility. And then moving on to the armor tab, which is mainly the good tab in everyone's bank. It's not really mine. I'm not rich, so don't expect anything great. And I don't have rares on rares on rares. I don't have party hats. I'm not loaded, but I just have what I need. And that's all I really need on this game to make me happy. So I've got my completionist hood. I'm wearing my cape. 
I've got my Max Hood, Max Cape. I've got a Dungeoneering Master Cape. I have one in my house as well, I believe. We've got my Royal Cannon over here. We've got some cannonballs. And we've just got some little armor like Kirill's. I bought at 100k, so I'm keeping that. My Slayer Helm. All of my auras that help me in combat, like Vampirism, Penance, and Reverence. I've got a Zami Spear for Corp. All of my Chaotix up here, plus the two bows down here. I've got all of the Obsidian armor. I don't know why I made all of this, but whatever. I guess it's just in my bank now, so I could get rid of that too. I have two whips because I was killing Abbey Demons, and I happen to get two, and they're 100k each, so why would I sell them? I'll just keep them in my bank. I've got full Darox, just because it was really good, and then they nerfed it. It's still good now, but it's what I use for melee, so I'm not going to sell it. I'll just keep it. And I've got a Fury, a Master Wand, which I bought at a ridiculous price, and now it's pretty low, so I'm just going to keep that as well. We've got my Sears and Archer Rings Eye. And then we've got my Pernix, which is what I mainly use for bossing. I usually go to Arma or QBD or Nex, so I mainly use... Pernix, so I have my full Pernix here with the gloves and boots. I've got my Swift Gloves, my Glaven Boots, my Onyx Eye Ring, my Royal Crossbow, which is an awesome crossbow now, and 24k Royal Bolts. So that's all for my combat tab. And then lastly, we have my collection tab, and yes, I do have an extra tab to put stuff in, but this tab is the reason why my bank is huge. I have 256 slots. I could probably get it down to about 190, 180. I don't need this many bank spaces, but this collection tab right here is killing me, mainly because of the Squeal of Fortune rewards, so I'll show you all of this right now. I've got 1,480,000 broad arrows. That's just stuff I've fleshed over time. I've got 131 mangled bones when I was going for the Ancient Pages for the Trim Comp requirement. I've got all of the Slayer heads, which I worked really hard to get. It took about a week time just to get all of these heads. It was ridiculous. Anyone who was following me back in the day when I was going for head hunting, that was just ridiculous. So I've got a Crawling Hand, a Cockatrice Head, a Basilisk Head, Karask Head, an Abyssal Head, KBD Head, and a KQ Head. And I've got my cat right here, Overgrown Cat. It resembles my cat in real life, so I keep it in my bank and not in my menagerie. And then I've got my egg collection. I've got every egg in the game. I've got an Easter egg. I finally saved up enough for that, so I bought that, and I'm happy to have that. I've got Leet regular eggs. Then I've got the Sarah Gothic Zami eggs, Raven egg, Vulture egg, Penguin egg, all of the Dragon eggs, and then all of the Cockatrice eggs. And then we have an egg whisk just for comic purposes, I guess, comedic. I don't know what the word I should be saying is, but the comedic purpose right there for an egg whisk. Moving on, we've got five donuts from the random event about the sandwich lady. That's removed from the game now, so I'm left with these five donuts, and I'm happy to have them. Then we've got the raw turkey and cooked turkeys from the Thanksgiving event two years ago. Then we've got some squeal stuff right here, seaside rocks, candy floss, toffee apples, etc. Now we've got some stuff from the Christmas event this year that I think will probably be removed from the game after the event's removed. But if they're not, then I'll have them in my bank forever, so I'll be looking out for that. Then I've got my present collection. I still need the purple one so I can get the Christmas tree hat. And I've got 60 small recharge gems. And then lastly, these rows are just some random things. We've got some more squeal stuff like a czar whip. I've got two of them. Ornate katana. All of the vanity items are usually either in my bank somewhere or they're at Diango. I've got this mask, which looks cool. And the shark fist, monkey hats, ghoulish mask, fish mask, etc. So nothing really cool like that. And that's all for my bank. It's nothing really spectacular. And also, my money pouch is 105 mil, so that's what I have right there. We'll examine it. 105 mil, 150k, and 959 coins. My XP counter is lots on one, and then 128 mil on the other two. I'm working to get lots on all of them. And then here are my stats, of course. I'm 2496 total level, 803 mil XP overall, and I have 99 in every stat and 120 dunge, so... I'm looking forward to the new skill that's coming out. I'll have to get 99 in that to keep my completionist cape, but that's my stats for now. And let's go into my house really quickly and show you guys what's in my house. I don't really want to show you everything in the chests and all that in my costume room, but I'm just going to show the main things just to show some things I have. I don't want to show you all of the little treasure trail rewards that no one really cares about. I've got all like the level 1 rewards and whatever, but I'm going to show you my cape rack really quickly. No one cares about the toy box or fancy dress box, but here's all my capes. I've got all of the capes in this one, and then I've got all of the capes on this one, except I don't have my... Max cape, comp cape, and I don't have those Castle Wars capes in there either. Is there more? Looks like there is. And I don't have a 10-year veteran cape as well. So those are the ones I'm missing. No big deal. I'll get them eventually. Uh, my magic wardrobe has really nothing in it. And then this is the armor case that I'd like to show you because I'm trying to collect a lot of the stuff in here. I have the Void Knight armor, the Spine armor, Rock Shell armor, all that other stuff no one really cares about. The Witch Doctor gear, Builders, Lumberjack, the Void Helms, and then... I'm trying to collect everything on this. I've got black navel. I don't want all of the navel clothes, obviously. I'm working on collecting all of the outfits like this. 
We've got the golden mining outfit, the construction outfit. I've got all of the hybrid gear, black ibis outfit. I'm trying to get the master runecrafter robes. I'm trying to get the factory armor, and then I have the fishing outfit, and that is it for the armor case. So that's all the stuff in my house. Also, I'll show you my pets really quickly because I have a lot of pets. And right there is my pets. I have two Jad pets, got a tooth creature, sneaker peeper, baby dragon, Freezy, and just some other pets that don't really matter. And then we'll go to the top of the Varrock Museum, and I will show you the requirements I have left for a trim completion escape, and we will wrap this video up. I don't want it to be too long. I think it's going to be about 12 to 13 minutes long, but hopefully that'll be okay. This is mainly for progress purposes, by the way. Like I said earlier, I just want to use this for a future reference just to see how I progressed throughout the year, and just to look back on to see how I organized things and how I kept everything. And something just to look back on, just to say this is what I did in 2012, bring on 2013. So as we make our way to the Varrock Museum to show the trim requirement stats, let's see what we have to do. I really don't like how the Varrock Museum is layered and you have to go all the way to the top to get to the completionist cape stand. I think that's ridiculous. I think there should just be one right here. Or I think that you should just be able to climb a rope or just fly there. I mean, we can turn into a dragon with our completion escape. Let us just go to the top of this place. Give us a telly or something. We should be able to telly to the top of the Varrock Museum with one of these instead of Ardun Farm and Kandarin Monastery. We should be able to have another option right there. Telly to the top of here. Because it's ridiculous running through this whole maze right here. So anyways, let's get into it. We're at the stand. We're going to investigate it. And it should say... Nice cape, blah, blah, blah. Anything I can help you with, I don't know, is there? You play stupid, like you don't know there's a trim version, and there we go. I have to do 5,000 games of Castle Wars, which I'm never doing, probably. I've got 172 games, so I'm pretty close, not. And then I've got unlocked maximum access to mobilizing armies rewards. And I have about 350 rank in that, so I just have to get 50 more, so that'll be done soon. Defeat all the champions, I only have two or three of the scrolls done, so that's going to take a while. Complete 25 chimp ice deliveries, that shouldn't take long at all. Complete the Damrock statue in your player own house, I have 14 weeks done out of, I think it's 30 or so. I know I have to do 16 more pieces, I have 14 already on the statue, so whatever that equals out to. I have to obtain rank 1 esteem from Wizard Phoenix, and I'm rank like 5 esteem right now, I have to do a lot of the... Rune span, and I have to purchase the champion's tackle box, which I'm going for. I have to explore the eastern lands in my player on port, and I have to complete the high UG and Quinn storylines from my port as well. So I have a little bit of work to do with my trim requirement. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine requirements left to go, and I can easily do two of them. So I'd say I have seven to go, and that's not that bad. Maybe I'll get it by 2013. I really don't think I'm going to do the Castle Wars though, but. Who knows, I might get trimmed eventually. But anyways guys, that's my bank slash house slash trim cape requirement slash progress slash everything video in one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just pretty much did it to show you guys what everything looks like. I know you guys like bank videos. I wanted to do it for me just so I could see and look back on what I had and how much I progressed in the game. And that's all guys, so I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a happy new year. Later everyone.